As Vietnam undergoes rapid urbanization, its rural heartlands are being drained of young people. More than 230,000 Vietnamese move every year to Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, according to official figures. The newcomers are turning their backs on traditional farming lifestyles. Life in the countryside is too hard. We cannot make much money, even though we have to work really hard in the fields. But city living is not easy. Electrician Mung also works in his wife's restaurant, which serves cheap lunches to other migrant workers. The family earns around $600 a month, enough to cover rent and schooling for their two children. Most new arrivals end up in low-paid jobs, in factories or on construction sites. Migrants contribute to urban and economic growth, to industrial zones and the nation. Because this workforce is abundant, young and energetic. Nearly a quarter of Vietnam's 90 million people are now urban-based, and the populations of its two main cities have roughly quadrupled since the 1980s. The changes are challenging the communist authorities, who need to create jobs and make sure that city infrastructure can cope. But the official policy is to welcome the influx. There are no boundaries between urban and rural areas, nor between major cities and the countryside, so migration is absolutely normal. The makeup of rural areas is changing, with mostly old people and children left on the farms. It's a dramatic transformation in a country built on agriculture. But, despite the hardships, the new city residents say they're here to stay.